Hello, welcome to Robbie Vlogs. So this is part two of a tutorial that I decided to produce in this video uh, for all my Gudrunista fellow friends. Uh, I have been watching and following uh, on Facebook uh, all you friends wearing bright colorful dresses and like me we have passion for colors and uh, once you put a nice frock on you feel happier and cheerful and colorful but I notice sometimes talking for myself I don't have the time the patience or the confidence to go and match my face with makeup and spend time a little effort to do it and uh, now that I have a little bit more time I decided to challenge myself to try new things and uh, I thought that if I had the self-confidence to do my face when I go out I would feel happier so I want to pass on this experience to you my fellow Gudrunistas and to try um, yeah colorful makeup um, I have followed some videos on YouTube myself and I learned a little bit so let's see together what you can do so in my first video which please subscribe and go and have a look um, I have shown a very quick and fast basic basic um, makeup tutorial. This one instead I want to progress and with a few more steps and it takes a little bit more effort, more products, but at the same time I feel that it will be even more rewarding at the end. So let's have a look together. So here we are with a few more products for your face. So I have here a foundation and a base tint in cream and different brands but all inexpensive from Boots uh, here in the UK or drugstores you can find the same mascara because in my first tutorial uh, I didn't use mascara but that's much better and uh, a few more products for your eyebrows and then a concealer a brush so of course uh, I never used to <laughs> have nice brushes but now I invested some money in brushes and actually very useful I can say and then different blushes for your cheeks and a powder face powder this one is I love revolution again very inexpensive and for your eyes I picked this very colorful and as I'm matching my outfit today with green and turquoise so I think these two colors will be amazing and this is quite an inexpensive palette from Barry M I, oh no actually this one is from Makeup Obsession sorry Makeup Obsession and yes it's um, really good all right so we can start now so I will continue to uh, use a basic uh, foundation colorful cream on my face and this one is from L'Oreal and my skin I clean my skin so just to have a little bit more hydration and like color on my skin because I'm very pale so this is quite useful and you pack it a little bit so the skin has a few seconds to absorb the cream and then I will use a foundation so foundation I never used all my life and then I started watching videos and um, actually a little bit another composition of, um, of foundation is much lighter and uh, the result is quite amazing and it gives you a nice complexion and why not so you can apply on your eyelids as well if you have more time and more money to spend there are special primers for your eyelids so the eyeshadow will take off but um, yeah I don't want to do that but you got the option okay so that's nice and then I'm going to do 
my eyelids so in my previous tutorial I used the brush but the brush is not really perfect so if you have a little bit more time and more interest then I've got my mirror here magnifying because the problem doing this is uh, I can't see anything close up I'm become very short-sighted so sometimes I have a very cubist eyebrow on the middle of my forehead which is not a great thing so yeah <laughs> it's better to have a good mirror I really recommend very good investment so there you go okay so the most important thing now is the uh, eyes so for me talking for myself this is my weak area and I feel very self-conscious I hate it now and it brings me down so <laughs> I discovered concealers I never knew about concealers but concealers come in um, a cream or in sticks so um, to start with I use stick because it is quicker and um, I guess easier to apply so if you put a little bit under your eyes like I'm doing and then with a clean sponge you pat it and um, it's not a miracle cure <laughs> be prepared I am prepared I can't Put the clock back but it is a little bit just a little bit and uh, yeah I feel better and uh, if I haven't applied enough I can add a little bit more so you see this tutorial is a bit slower and takes longer time so of course this is today Sunday I'm going to meet my bestie friend in her garden so I have the time to indulge okay so this is the beautiful makeup uh, eyebrow palette I picked it up for the colors and also the box the packaging I always like packaging and this one has got a forest and mushrooms and if you watch some other videos of mine um, particularly after lockdown I have enjoyed many many walks uh, in the English countryside and it's something that I really like so countryside and Gudrun match very well together so I'm going to take a little brush so this is the investment um, I've picked a few nice brushes and as you can see I kept the eyeliner from my previous tutorial is there I don't mind and I'm going to add up a few colors so I haven't decided but I will go for the paler uh, paler green in the center of my eyelids oops yes I haven't done what I should have done so to get the excess powder off the brush so it's gone all over my nose but that's typical and uh, so I uh, yes so the, the the theme and the technique is go for some pale colors in the center and have another color a darker color at the end outer end of your eyes so yes and the powder is going everywhere I will correct this I got blue everywhere so I feel like a clown now okay so essential is a cleaning wet tissue for your face so if you make mistakes as I did before just now you just clean your nose so you're not looking like a clown okay so uh, I'm going to use so I've used the green and the blue turquoise to match my outfit but I'm going to use on the top of my eyelids something more neutral so if you want you can do that at the beginning so to create a base 
um, but I'm doing it now so it gives the eyelid a better uniform look so of course this is a bit more intense okay so I feel fairly happy with what I've done so far so I'm going to proceed with mascara and mascara is really important I have to say so even if you have very little time I would say in the first tutorial like makeup for example you really open up your eyes so and as you see not much time but um, yeah I would recommend now we're going to do a few more steps so as this is indulging time it's Sunday and we've got the time we're going to take some powder and dust, dust it over the face and, uh, and then I will brush it off and this will help all the makeup to settle and also to give a nice matte finish to your skin my skin is very delicate and dry but also shiny for some reason so it's nice to do that and it's uh, a moment of indulgence so you done the powder now another uh, step which I never done before but I saw it is quite um, popular <laughs> on YouTube so I'm going to pass it on it's this which is give a shadow to your face so this product, as I said, I'm very short-sighted. It's a coffee latte bronzer. And I use it as a contour. So the word is contour. And you can use this to sculpt your face. So as I'm a bit chubby, if you do that at the bottom of your face and a little bit under your cheekbones, apparently it's going to help. So why not we can use any help and then as a cheek fard or blusher here we go we go over uh, above the line we designed earlier and i make very funny faces but i don't mean to so it takes a lot of courage to do a makeup tutorial when you know I'm not that confident so let me see if I don't look like a clown oh that's quite good and then the third step would be to get a glow and that you put above so it's three layers you get the contour the blusher which is the essential one and above the shine so that when you move your face it's illuminating and quite quite nice and you can use it like a lot of 17 years girls use it on the nose and I'm going to do it as well and on your chin so that's it so what do you think so that's nice and now I have to look for a nice product for the lips so lips if you have more time you could spend time with a lip contour uh, but I, I don't want to bother so I'm going to use this Maybelline new product and as I go on quite colorful on my eyes I don't want to go over the board so I'm going for a, a natural on my lips and I think I am satisfied that's okay so there we are I hope you enjoyed this tutorial and uh, yeah please don't forget to subscribe and let me know if you want to see more I can find new ideas and new clothes good one clothes to match to my face okay so we reached the end of tutorial one and tutorial two 
for this uh, Gudrun uh, tutorial experience matching your fashion. So in this case a beautiful vintage pinafore. And I think, uh, yeah, I'm pleased with the result. I have achieved um, a colourful face, I think, matching my outfit. So I hope you enjoyed and uh, let me know I will endeavor to find new ideas for new similar tutorials if you like it.